I, uh, I was going to call her. But I was afraid I was going to scare her. She would have laughed at me anyway. She doesn't believe in that kind of thing, you know. According to the reports I reviewed, Agent Scully's research states that Dwayne Berry's propensity for violent, deviant behavior is due to brain damage from a bullet wound in the head. Is this the operational opinion? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Was there another? He's convinced he's going to be abducted by aliens. That by taking someone to the abduction site, he won't be abducted himself. That he's following orders from alien voices in his head. Yes. Well, that's an interesting spin on the Nuremberg defense. Which explanation do you subscribe to, Agent Mulder? There's a question of how he could have gotten to her in the first place. And you think these alien voices told him? Agent Scully was carrying a small piece of metal that was removed from Dwayne Barry's abdomen, an implant he described as a tracking device. Agent Scully thought that you had made a major miscalculation in Dwayne Barry's psychosis. Is that true? Yes, but that still doesn't explain how he could have found her. Where would he be taking her? I don't know. He, he talked about a mountain, but he wasn't specific about the location. Well, however he got to her and whatever his motives, he took Agent Scully's car and her weapon. I think we all understand the seriousness of this matter and should proceed ahead quickly with all possible resources. I need you to turn over your file to HRT. I'd like to brief them myself, sir. Go home, Agent Mulder. You've been up all night. Get some sleep. Sir, I know Dwayne Barry. I've been in his head. I know how he You're thinks. You're too close to this case. If we can use you, we will. Sir. That's an order, Agent Mulder. Make sure he gets home safely. <laughs> <laughs> 